Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here from ReviewsBoss.com. In this video, what I want to do is just basically go through a really important topic, something I get asked all the time, something that most people have asked at any point or at some point in their uh, online marketing journey, and that's whether you can make money online for free. Uh, it's the sort of holy grail or nirvana of this whole thing. Uh, people have sold this dream on, oh, you can go online and you can get rich online uh, and you know, make tons of money on the internet and you never need to spend anything to do it. You know, who cares about starting a normal business where you've got, you know, expenses, you've got to pay rent for an office or for a factory or for some sort of facility, you've got to pay staff, you've got to pay advertising costs, you've got to pay, you know, all sorts of things like that. Uh, if you've got a computer and you've got an internet connection, you can get rich online for free. Uh, so is that dream really attainable or is it just that? Is it just a dream? Uh, so, yeah, really the purpose of this video is just to discuss this and I guess ground you in my experiences and what I've found over the years. I've been doing this for well over 10 years now. I started out way back when I was at high school. Uh, I was about 15 years old, um, you know, and I went online. I had an old iMac computer. Uh, if you remember the ones that looked like a sort of half a basketball with a, you know, monitor sticking out of it. I got given that by my dad. I got an internet connection and I wanted some more money and I, I went online and I said, how do I make money online for free? And uh, I really went down that rabbit hole, if you're familiar with that term. Uh, and, you know, the journey has been fantastic. There's been some real ups and there's been some real downs. But what I want to do is share that knowledge with you. So really to answer the question, can you make money online for free? Yes, you can do it. Uh, there is nothing stopping you. The issue, in my opinion, is that if you can get your hands on just a little bit of, of starting capital, it makes the process so much easier. So for example, let's say you want to make money online by building up a niche website. Uh, so you, you're interested in a topic like dog training or surfing or organic gardening or survival or prepping or uh, you know, uh, personal development, anything like that. There are just, you know, think of a magazine rack in your local bookstore if you've still got one of those in your town, uh, the way book sales are going. Uh, and, you know, think of all the topics that are out there and all of those magazines, right, they're all in a niche, they're all on a topic. You could build a website on a very similar thing. You could take a fraction of that, you know, cars, you could focus on on classic cars, you could focus on classic Japanese cars, you could focus on classic Japanese cars in the 1990s and you'd probably still have the opportunity to make some fantastic money. But if you think of just building a niche website, getting traffic to it, monetizing it through affiliate offers, uh, yes, you could start it with no money at all, but the issue is the journey will be so much harder, whereas for the want of a little bit of money, uh, a little bit of starting investment, you can make the process much easier. Now, if you think about a website, what do you need to actually build it? Well, firstly, you need a, a domain name. Now, a domain name costs money. Yeah, you could go online and go onto blogger.com and get a free blog, but the issue is no one's going to take you as seriously as they would with a, a paid blog. Uh, you're much more at risk of having your, your website or your blog taken away from you. So let's say you use Blogger or WordPress.com, the free WordPress, that's another good example. Uh, you know, you start trying to make some money with WordPress.com blog, you build your classic 90s Japanese car blog on WordPress.com and suddenly you find you've uh, broken a term and condition and you're, you know, or you're reported for stealing someone's photos or something like that. And next thing you know, you've got that website taken away from you. You could be shut down straight away. Uh, and so really, you know, if you're scrambling to do it all for free, it becomes so much harder because, you know, you need a domain name and a domain name costs money. Now you can get a .com domain name for probably about $10 a year, sometimes even less, but you need some money. Uh, hosting, once again, you want to use something like your own self-hosted WordPress. So as opposed to WordPress.com, which gives you some basic blogging features for free on a free domain, uh, what you're actually doing with WordPress.com is using some paid hosting, putting WordPress as in the application or the content management system on that hosting, and then you've got your own website that you largely control. I mean, sure, the hosting company could come along and kick you off, uh, which is something that's happened uh, to some businesses or some websites on for political reasons, but for the kind of thing we're doing, there's pretty much zero risk of that happening, or very minor risk of that happening. But once again, you need some money to begin with. Um, so if you're sitting there and you've got absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, if you're thinking, right, I've got to make some money online, but I, I just have no way at all to raise any coin, my advice to you is to go out and try and get some money 
not online. So go and find a job, you know, go and find some laboring work, some temp work, whatever, and just get a bit of money. You don't need a lot. The methods I'm going to teach on this channel, by and large, don't require a lot of investment. You know, you might need at the bare minimum to make some money with affiliate marketing through, say, a niche website. Uh, so, you, you know, you build up a, a niche site, get traffic coming to it and promote affiliate, affiliate offers. If you could spare $100 a year for domain and hosting, uh, and that's being generous, that's probably all you need. Now, of course, if you've got more money, you can get tools that will help you. You can get tools that help with things like uh, link building, that help with things like social media. You know, you could do paid advertising, all sorts of stuff like that. So having money helps. Money basically gives you scalability. Uh, if you think about how successful businesses are run, look at, say, you know, Ford Motor Company, for example. Now, Henry Ford didn't build a massive motor company by trying to do it all for free. He didn't say, well, you know, I've, I've come up with this really good idea of a production line. Now I'm gonna design the car, I'm gonna go pick up all the parts, I'm gonna work the whole production line myself. He built scale into the business, a leverage by paying other people to do uh, bits of it by building processes and, you know, you were able to expand that way. Uh, most successful businesses out there in the wild that we see, you know, down our high streets or, you know, we see in the financial papers or, all those kind of things, they're all predicated, they're all built on this concept of you make some money and then you reinvest that money into new equipment, new staff, more training, all those kind of things. You grow your business that way. Now, one of the appealing things to a lot of people with online marketing is that they're sold this dream of you don't need to do that. Instead, what you're able to do is jump on your computer and with nothing more than a laptop or in an internet connection, you can become rich. It is definitely doable. I know people who've made lots of money basically spending nothing, you know, they've made their first dollars online by, you know, doing parasite SEO with web 2.0s and making some money on ClickBank, then reinvesting that and growing from there. But I guess my key message is, yes, you can make money online for free, but you are so much better just to invest a little bit. Uh, you know, if you have already got a job, for example, let's say you're working nine to five, I would say keep that job, uh, whatever you do, and then Pick a method that resonates with you, whether it's building up a niche site, whether it's drop shipping, whether it's uh, you know building up big social networks and promoting affiliate products that way. I'll be discussing all these methods on this channel, but basically use some of the money from your job. Uh, you know, if you could spare ten dollars a week, that's probably going to give you enough to get a really good start. That's you know five hundred odd dollars a year. That's enough to begin with. I mean, I, I started my journey really with a computer. I started with an internet connection and I had a domain name and I had that domain name so that when I was creating the articles on article directories, uh, what I was able to do was redirect people. They, they clicked on the domain name and they actually wound up on a ClickBank landing page, but it looked more professional. Uh, so even there, starting off, I still had to spend some money. It wasn't much, but it was some money. And when you're 15 years old, pretty much anything is a lot of money unless you're from the uh, cast of MTV Super Sweet 16 or whatever that show's called. So yeah, long story short, if you want to make money online for free, you can do it, but I would rather temper your expectations and say that the way forward is to put some money aside for investment. You know, don't bet the farm on it. Don't sell your car and quit your job and say, right, you know, I'm just gonna throw it all in and, and try and make money as an affiliate marketer or, or whatever. Some people will sell you that dream. I don't think that's the right way to do it. I'm sure some people will come along and comment and say, no, you need to throw yourself in head first. And you know, that works for some people. I know some people who have done that, they've basically given up everything and just taken a massive gamble. But my advice to you is, you know, if you've already got a job, just divert a little bit of money from your job to you know, a separate bank account each month that you can use for building your business, that you can use for investing in things. Um, you know, there are tools out there, there are bits of software, there are trainings, there are you know, products, there are advertising opportunities, all of which cost you money. And the thing is having money gives you leverage. Uh, a classic example is if I was to build a new niche site today, I could sit there and I could research all the keywords, I could write all the articles, I could post them all, I could optimize them all. I could do it all myself, but I don't need to because now I've built up enough, I guess, capital within the business I'm running. What I'm able to do is actually go out there and pay someone else to do it. I can say, right, I want to build a site about dog training I'm gonna find someone who knows about dog training or who can research about it. I'm gonna say, write about these 100 different topics. And then I'm able to leverage. I could have 10 people doing that for me with 10 different sites. And you build leverage and you build steam and that's how you grow. 
Um, so yeah, if you are sitting there thinking, oh, I've got nothing to my name, can I make money online? Yeah, you can do it. I just recommend that you try to find at least a little bit of money. Um, even $100, you know, even $50, to be honest, will get you started. I'm definitely going to have uh, guides on this channel that will allow you to get started for as close to nothing as possible. And you can do it, but honestly, it will be so much easier if you just put a little bit of money aside. That's my biggest bit of advice when you're starting out, is treat this as an investment. You know, and that's not a lead-in for me to pitch you some $1,000 course that you need to, you know, must buy to get started. I'm going to teach you as much as I can for free. Um, there will be some things I recommend that cost a little bit of money, but I try to recommend things that are reasonably priced. Uh, but having that money within your business and having that earmark for investment will make things so much easier. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, uh, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you've got a question, if you disagree with me, whatever, just leave a comment below. Uh, we can duke it out if it is a disagreement. Uh, I always welcome any uh, opposing opinions, and if you do need help, I'll help you out as well. So thanks for watching, uh, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.